Hello YouTube. Um, I apologise for all the traffic noise, but it kind of is part of this video because I'm just walking back from work and I want to show that you don't have to be in the middle of wilderness, you don't have to be miles from anywhere, you don't have to be anywhere special at all to do a little bushcraft and get a little free food. Now, it's quite a cold day today, I'm wearing my mag, keep me warm, but it's quite good that it was quite cold because last night there was the first frost of the year and that was quite nice and the reason it's quite nice are these slows, blackthorn um, may used for making slow gin um, they're a wonderful plant, uh, they make really good carving wood um, if you've ever heard of a shillelagh, the Irish stick, they're traditionally made of this stuff it's common in hedgerows across the country and here it is, just absolutely laden, it's been a brilliant year for slows this year it's all across the farm back home as well and the reason it's important there's been a first frost is you use it for making slow gin and one of these berries they have quite a tough outer skin and the frost breaks up the surface layer of the outer skin and um, lets it infuse into the gin a lot more um, meaning that um, you get much better flavour uh, the other way of doing it is if you don't want to wait for the first frost to soften your slows is to pick them all and pinprick them all over um, I will be doing a video on it later uh, when I've picked enough slows to make some gin and got enough gin in to go with the slows so thanks. slows themselves are actually really really sour and bitter and acrid really really sour very plum like they're related to plums oh that was truly sour <laughs> and drying my mouth out there's a reason you mix them with gin I don't know what it is two horrible things separately become wonderful when mixed but they're actually really nice flavour once they're in the gin and as I do I'm quite fond of sour things once you get past the real bitterness of the skin the sour flesh is quite nice and of course you have a, a nice pit to draw your own black form from mm. it's good stuff so yeah I don't know whether I should pick a load now or whether the first frost wasn't heavy enough because it was only really an air frost particularly tasting that one was actually quite firm the skin wasn't the way it should feel so I could spend ages pinpricking them all because I wanted to get some slow gin on the way well unfortunately the sky as you can see above me is not the beautiful clear blue that it was yesterday which gave us a good frost although it was only an air frost as I said I reckon I won't uh, pick all these now, although I will show you one tip for um, practicing urban bushcraft that's very useful. Keep a plastic bag with you wherever you go. If you see something edible, you can just pick it, take it home, have a little free feast. Thanks, YouTube.